decades, IMPD Deputy Chief Jim Waters has worked to make our city a better place to live. Now this morning, he needs your support. Deputy Chief Waters was seriously hurt this weekend in a car crash in Plainfield. It happened on I-70 yesterday afternoon. Amy Peskovitz is keeping us updated this morning on how he's doing and the many mm -hmm. prayers heading his way. And folks like we got our push alerts yesterday, letting them know about this accident. Mm -hmm. I want to let folks know this morning that we do have an update on his condition. At last check this morning, Deputy Chief Jim Waters is in critical but stable condition at IU Methodist Hospital. But we know his fellow officers have been stopping by and offering whatever support they can. Because the accident happened on a state highway and Deputy Chief Waters was off duty at the time, the Indiana State Police are now investigating the crash. They tell us Deputy Chief Waters may have slowed down or stopped to avoid debris in the road when his Ford Fusion was rear-ended by a semi. Deputy Chief Waters is well known in this community for his work to prevent violence, especially for young people on the east side. He is a 27-year veteran of the department. And here at Channel 13, we covered his work. We have often over the years. It didn't take long for us to find video of him in action. Our Mary Mills also spoke with Reverend James Jackson, who worked with Deputy Chief Waters in his role as president of the Far East Side Action Coalition. Very caring, always smiling. If he was dealing with something, he didn't know it because he didn't show it. But uh, very determined to do all he could to make sure uh, people in the co community were safe. So you really get a sense for the type of person he is. Politicians have also been spreading their love and support this morning, including this tweet from Mayor Joe Hogsett saying, prayers for the health and recovery of Deputy Chief Waters, who has dedicated his life to the department he serves and the community he loves. So you can see he's passionate about making our city safer and keeping it that way for a long time. That's why he's worked with young people, especially on the east side, which we know has been a troubled part of town. All right, yeah, we'll be pulling for him for sure. Thanks, Naomi.